Sergeant Slaughter is ready for some fighting with today's game, Pit Fighter, for your Sega Genesis. Featuring, it looks like a bodybuilder punching out an ex-WWF wrestler, while two 80s actors dance in the background. Alright, let's go ahead and take Pit Fighter and its 8 megs of action, pop it in my Sega Genesis, and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pit Fighter was published by Tengen and carries a copyright year of 1991. It is based on the 1990 arcade game by Atari Games, and in case you didn't know it, Tengen was Atari Games' home publishing name. One of the programmers of the game was Dennis Koble, who also made the Atari 2600 game Atlantis, which I reviewed in episode 283. Pit Fighter is a fighting game for one or two players. In a two-player game, you can actually work together to defeat your opponents. According to the manual, in Pit Fighter, a premium quality Tengen game, there are no rules. It is simply primitive, unregulated prize fighting at its meanest, which basically describes politics in America for the past 20 years or so. At the beginning of the game, you could select one of three fighters, each who has a different set of special moves that can be performed by pressing A, B, and C together. When I first released my review of this game, I mentioned that special moves drain some of your energy, but I was wrong. They do not. I'm not sure why I thought that, but thanks goes out to viewer in outrage for politely pointing out my error. The first character in the game is former pro wrestler Buzz, a powerhouse fighter whose special moves include a killer body slam, headbutt, and pile driver. The second character is the kickboxer Ty, whose special moves include the flying double kick, spin kick, and roundhouse. The final character is the speedy Kato, whose special moves include the dragon punch, flip kick, and backhand. When fighting, A punches, picks up objects and uses or throws objects. B kicks, C jumps, and B and C together perform a jump kick. A and C together block and duck when pressing down. A and B together can pick up other fighters and then throw them when pressed again. Pressing left or right twice in a row will cause your character to perform an evasive move. Occasionally, a P power-up will come out of a broken object. Picking this up will give you or your enemy more powerful attacks and tougher defense for a short period of time. The game has 10 rounds and then a championship match against the Masked Warrior, who looks like a Mad Max reject, who also tried unsuccessfully to become the fourth member of Demolition in the WWF. Every third match is a grudge match, either against your evil twin in a single player game or your partner in a two player game. Whoever knocks the other player to the ground three times gets extra cash. And the grudge match before the masked warrior in a two player game determines who gets to fight him. You also get cash after each fight for how well you performed. Graphically speaking, the game is merely okay with some watered down digitized graphics from the arcade without the zooming in and out. However, I actually like the music and the sounds, especially Buzz saying, I'm big, and the cash piling up sound after each match. Family friendly wise, this game wasn't rated, but I think it might earn a T for teen today due to the violence, occasional blood splatter, and the fact that your male character sometimes fights a biker bar female character. At the time I researched on eBay, loose copies were selling for $4 to $7, and complete copies were selling for $10 to $14, including shipping. So what did I think of Pit Fighter? Just like the arcade version, there's not much to the game, and it has a button mashing quality to it. It's also very tough, as your health bar does not refill in between rounds, and getting through the game on the limited lives provided is quite the challenge. However, this game does have a cheesy quality to it, where some people might find that it's so bad it's kinda good, and enjoy its mindless fun for a playthrough or two. So where am I gonna rank Pit Fighter? This is gonna be one of those games that hover in the lower third. I like Double Dragon better at 13, but I would definitely rather play Pit Fighter than Bubsy at 14. So out of the 18 games I'm now ranked on the Sega Genesis, Pit Fighter is punching into the 14 position. Pit Fighter is not for everyone, but can provide some mindless fun for some gamers. So what do you think of the game? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like to support the show, you could do so at Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash gamer for more information. You can also follow me both on the Facebook or the Twitter, and I'm a member of the Retro Junkies Network. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the No Sword Gamer. Take care and remember to climb on a forklift when counting your cash.